Mr. Luisen. Sir, so, welcome amendment that is relating to the provision on application of confidential advice by the Competition Commission on whether an anticipated merger is likely to lessen competition within any market in Singapore and thereby falling foul of it of the Act is very welcomed. I understand that this seeks to codify an already available procedure. Statutory force is likely to further assure businesses approaching the Commission for such advice that such an approach will be treated on a confidential basis. So I only have one clarification for this bill. The one aspect of the proposed amendment that is of concern is the power of persons entering into premises with or without warrant for the purpose of investigations. Currently, investigating officers, inspectors and other authorised persons may enter into premises with or without warrant for the purpose of carrying out investigations. Persons on the premises can be required to 1. Produce documents relating to any matter relevant to the investigations. 2. Provide an explanation of that document if so produced. And 3. State to the best of his knowledge where any such document is found. These are specific questions relating to documents relevant to the, to the investigations. If the Commission or Inspector wishes to ask other questions on matters relevant to the investigation, the person must be served with a notice in writing under Section 63. The new Section 63 4A allows the person found on the premises to be orally examined and required to produce answers relevant to the investigation. The statement has to be recorded in writing, read over in a language understood by the examinee and signed by him under the new Section 63 4B. However, as SMS mentioned earlier, there is no need for such an examinee to be served with a notice under Section 63, even though the examinee can now be made to answer a broader scope of questions equivalent to that under Section 63. My concern is that notices will never be served on persons found on premises when they are questioned on relevant matters beyond documents relating to the investigation. The requirement for notice allows time for a person required to act under it, consider the request made, and perhaps seek legal advice on it. Why deprive these persons of, this, of these rights? Can Minister clarify again why we're making these amendments and perhaps why did we have this requirement for serving the notice in the first place? So notwithstanding the above clarification, I stand in support of this bill.